Whenever you're ready. Wow. wow. That had a hell of a thump in. Did you smell that? Yeah. It smells like burnt hair. Ew, that stinks. Hi, this is Jeff of Tal Flittermouse. We've got a strange one for you. We've got slugs made out of moose antler. These were sent to us by Mark from flintnappingtools.com. Check out the link in the description. And Mark turned these on a lathe, and he definitely knows what he's doing. The tolerances, weights, and everything were just dead on. Now, this stuff is rather hard. It has a texture and feel of porcelain. That's the best way I can describe it. Mark told me that primitive people made hammers, projectiles, and sewing needles, all kinds of stuff out of antler. And as far as copper goes, they could actually find that in nugget form and make various things out of that too. I loaded a few of these with a light powder load and then some with a heavy powder load. Let's see how they do. And now, here's that master of the cinematic arts, Mr. Nautil. Hey, uh, welcome back, Tau Flater folks. Jeff and the OG evidently coming to you from what sounds like Beirut. Hey, yeah, uh, we got some guys shooting behind us today, but we're not going to get in their way. They're not going to get in our way. Today, we're going to bring you uh, some an antler round. This round has been made out of moose antler, not moose knuckles, moose antler. And mounted right down the center is a little copper, copper slug that's been JB welded into the center of that. Mark over at flintnappingtools.com in Sagerstown, Pennsylvania, built these and sent them out to Jeff. So uh, we're going to send them downrange at a variety of different uh, targets and see how they do. After we're all done with that, we're going to send them to Matt over at uh, Desecration Ranch and see if he can shoot them out of a 50 caliber. <laughs> all right, let's give them a try. Okay, the wet sawdust target. This is a new one for us. We'll see how it works out. Anytime you're ready. Here we go. Hang it. Wow, what a mess. <laughs> it smells good though. <laughs> Looks like a beaver vomited out here. <laughs> and if your beaver's vomiting, I think, I think <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Is it, is it Demolition Ranch shooting over there? Yeah, that's probably Matt. Yeah, because we all live on the YouTube island out sure. here. I hope he has the slow mo guys with him. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> behind, behind this mess, we had. A Kevlar vest and uh, look at that. That is oh center wow. Post. Okay, that's that's. Accurate. I haven't even looked at the high speed yet. That is accurate. Um, there's the slug. Absolutely, uh, you know, just a little scuff on there. But that could we could load that up and shoot it again if we wanted to. And that's the back of the pot or the you know the coffee creamer thing. So that'll be interesting. I, um, it definitely slowed down the slug quite a bit, and I'm having regrets shooting that the first being the first, first thing to thing. shoot. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> Oregon ballistic jelly, but yeah. ballistic gel. I was gonna say it was Canadian, but oh, Canadian ballistic gel, Canada, America's hat. All of the slugs that we shot today were shot just through a smoothbore shotgun, no spin at all, and look how stable that slug is and very accurate. I wasn't sure if these would shatter when we shot them because. Who has shot moose antlers out of a shotgun before? Okay, we're still using the low power 20 grains of long shot. The ladies love the lead plate, I'll tell you that. Ready? I'm ready. Man. It's sunk in it. That thing went just exactly where that tape was. Now these first low power slugs are probably traveling around 1300 feet per second. While we probably could have shot these through a rifle choke to get a little spin on them, we really didn't need to because of that uh, Diablo shape. The shape of, of an air rifle pellet, basically. And it's just has proven to be such a wonderful aerodynamic shape that you can make anything out of it and it works. Oh, oh he got go. it. Got it out. Oh, look at that. Look at the nose of that thing. Okay, let me, let me compare it to the first one we shot. Flatten it out. We're doing good at recovering these things so far, so I'm happy that about thing. that. That really plowed into this lead plate here. Yeah, it and went in there quite deep. Here's what's cool. I don't know if viewers can see, but there are little tiny, tiny shards of uh, blue electrical tape. Oh, you did hit the tape. Okay. They shoved down in there. No, oh, oh, okay. you can't shoot. Oh, okay. That's right. Need, need training. That's right. Steel core thing. Okay, world's trailer, biggest trailer hitch. We got Kevlar on there to catch any ricochets. Which makes it look like a hillbilly TIE fighter. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm ready. ready. 
Dang it. Looks like it zinged to the left. Now this one did not fly very well. It's probably because of the wadding I used. I ran out of the FS-12 Wallandy waddings and used a different type, and that makes a big difference. Luckily the slug still managed to clip the steel ball, and we were able to catch it in that Kevlar vest. It hit, I think it hit the hit something significant. Look at that. Look at that smear where that thing hit and zinged off. Yeah, there's like picked up steel or something on there. Flatten that thing out like a quarter. Jeez. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. It was, oh, 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 oh. It was buried in the dirt like this and looked like a uh, looked like a 40 caliber. I don't know how you saw that. That's looks amazing. Like, it like was a, just a, like five feet away. 40 caliber round sticking out of the dirt, but. That's cool. Yeah, that. Like that shows kind of the angle too that it hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It might have hit like right here or something. You know it. that? I bet that's where it hit. My shoulder holds up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. You finally found it, huh? We found it. We dug it out of the uh, white vest. It is practically new condition. There's uh, almost zero damage to that. And uh, just so viewers know, these pants were Jeff's uh, church pants. They are <laughs> soaking wet, however. They are <clears throat> wetter than an R. Kelly weekend. <laughs> they're, they're work pants. They're like uh, industrial work pants Boy, from, no, they're wet work from pants. the good old days. So we had them balled up, and it burrowed right in there, right out the other Didn't side. Didn't slow it down at all. No. So would not make a very good uh, ballistic vest for officers. Yeah, home defense uh, <laughs> pa pants. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put on your home defense pants if a guy breaks in your window. That's right. These would not make a very good. God, those guys are shooting all officers. over the place, dude. Yeah, we've got incoming fire for those uh, Tau Flater folks who are wow, listening. Wow, they don't like us. This lug definitely handled that extra 10 grains of Hodgkin's long shot very well. Very stable and very accurate. And it just plowed right through the FBI standard soaking wet trousers. Okay, if we didn't shoot the clay block, people would be like very angry. Clay in a box. Of course, we never do anything right, do we? <laughs> okay, I don't know if that box is going to contain it or not. These things are probably going 1,700 feet per second. Is it a ballistic box, though? Well, let's see. Okay, I'm ready when you are. On the nose. Holy oh. crap. Box is gone. Oh, that one smelled like burnt hair. Again, this is a high power slug with 30 grains of uh, long shot in it. It started out okay, and then it just started popping a wheelie and uh, kind of corrected itself and managed to hit the clay still, so we're happy with that. Now, what's funny about these slugs is when the bl wind's blowing the right way and, you can, and the smoke blows back to you, it stinks terribly. It's, it's a horrible smell. Now here's something you'll really like. Mr. Know-It-All. Go ahead. Ho, 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 ho. Is this a flesh wound? Hit him right in the knuckle, right in his moose knuckle. <laughs> and uh, it's a little bit lower than we expected. Yeah, the, the a... higher power ones that... Uh, uh, we put too much power in, powder in there. They were great at, at 20 grains. He's got a purple thumb. I think he just voted in Af Afghanistan. <laughs> thumbs up. Well, hey, thumbs at least up. you hit something. Thumbs up if you like this yeah. video. There's an antler shard right there. Oh yeah, okay. Well, we'll have to see what it looked like on high speed. All I could tell is it hit a little bit low, but you hit, you hit the water jug cleanly. Again, this one flew a little bit wonky and it wasn't very accurate. And I'm not going to blame the powder load, I'm going to blame the waddings on, on the inconsistencies. But how cool is it to shoot moose antler slugs? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Was that the shot heard around the network? We'll find out next time in It's Only a Flesh Wound or Better Lead Than Dead.